to a reaction likened to toxic shock syndrome with severe flu-like symptoms, fever, rashes, difficulty breathing, and in some cases, inflammation of the heart. I'm very worried about the early signs that in rare cases there are there's a, uh, a, a, an impact of an autoimmune response in children that causes a, a significant disease. A prominent member of Italy's Pediatric Society sending out an alert to 10,000 of his colleagues. Doctors in Spain also reporting seeing signs of this in younger patients, although experts are clear that the vast majority of children are still least affected by coronavirus. Meanwhile, one of the most promising vaccines in the world is moving quickly into large clinical trials at Oxford University. Six monkeys given the vaccine at a facility in Montana did not contract COVID-19 when exposed to it and remained healthy for 28 days. Monkeys that were not vaccinated consistently fell ill. There's of course no guarantee that it'll work, but more than 6,000 volunteers are now coming forward to join Oxford's human trials that began last week. They're scheduled to be completed in September. James with us tonight. Hopeful news there on the Oxford vaccine trial. But James, I want to go back to that illness afflicting uh, children. Doctors here in the U.S., as I mentioned, now taking uh, this warning from the U.K. very seriously. Yeah, that's right, David. U.S. doctors heeding the advice from here in the U.K. They're looking for non-typical cases, things like uh, rashes, extreme inflammation, and also uh, low blood pressure. But we are now hearing that doctors in the United States are seeing cases in America. It is, all right, James Longman, our foreign correspondent from London, thank you. And that image you saw last night here, that packed flight from New York to North Carolina, one major airline tonight, now taking action. Here's Gio Benitez.